Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we'd all be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Well, we made it. Everyone, just head up Welcome back, guys. Thanks for watching Gameplays You. On to episode 2 of my Fallout 4 Let's Play. In the last episode, everything got blown up. We came from up there. Boston is no more. But myself, my wife, and my child are all okay. Sean's asleep. <laughs> I don't know how. Got a lot to do to get you oriented. My kid can sleep through nuclear detonation. Hey, head inside. Just up the stairs there. What? All right, I what? will do What's what you on? say. You're the overseer, after all. Up the stairs and through the door. Just this Man, everything is so detailed. So much more color in this game. I know that's a, that's a common theme that people have been bringing up. And they say, you know, what makes this different from Fallout 3? You know, same same engine, basically. They've just changed it to a physical-based renderer. But it, it's just a lot more colorful and, like I've been saying, a lot more dynamic. Over there. Take a seat. Just step over to the table. Each of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. Gimme. It's um, down the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. What are you guys looking at? Look at this guy. Follow me. You are an interesting character. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father Sir? coming to see you. Hey. Oh God, honey. Hey there. What if they didn't make it? Okay. I know this is a difficult you know what? I'm gonna turn on general subtitles, just in case it's tough for you guys to hear. I also changed the uh, HUD and the Pip Boy to a blue color. I like blue better. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Don't you think? Just Vault checking everyone off the list. As they you guys ever seen that movie Event Horizon? That's what this feels like right now. I do not want to go in these things. Feels like every game I play now, I'm inside of a pod. Bioshock Infinite. I played Soma a little while ago. All right, now what, dude? Just step in here and put your vaults. I don't trust you. Be okay. Daddy's right here. See? I'm right here, buddy. Honey, <clears throat> could you help me? What you need? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. He's asleep. There he is. I'm not, <laughs> he looks. Daddy's not going far. He, he looks either set. deceased Step or inside. he may be a doll. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know if I want to go in there, but I guess we gotta. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. I'm very relaxed. You've got me inside of a giant iron lung. Blanket or anything? <sighs> Something's going on. Okay. 
I'm almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come Jeez. Bethesda dropping the hammer very, very early on. You know, they didn't give you much time to develop a relationship with her, but it still kind of, like, hits you hard, even within the first half an hour of playing. So we have motivation now. <coughs> you think you're safe inside of this metal tube, and then you find out... I hope your family's still torn apart. Cryogenic obeys. All the residents must vacate immediately. First quest. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! Wow. Yep. She is not with us. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Okay. Where should we look? I am noticing some frame drops here and there. First day of release, so I'm not expecting too much. Hopefully a patch will clear it up, but it is a Bethesda game, so we know how that goes. Okay, so life support for all of these people is offline, so everybody's dead. Yep. Let's just check. It feels weird, because I know, yep, I know what happened to all these people, but I still feel like checking you never know, they may have left somebody alive. Okay. Well, the world just got a lot lonelier. You know what, I want to try and fix the uh, field of view as well. Bear with me one second, guys. If it's like any other Bethesda game... Okay, looks like that worked. Uh, just snapped back. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll have to look up uh, maybe an I and I preference thing I have to change. Just a little too zoomed in for me. Okay, here's some other cryopods. Yeah, everybody's dead. Wow. Okay, same deal here. So let's move on. Yeah, I see. A little bit of a frame skip there. <coughs> It'll show uh, controls for the Xbox 360 controller, but I'm actually playing on PC. I'm not playing on a console. What is that thing? Oh, it's a rat roach. Here we go. Here we go. Safety first. <laughs> Okay, so that's cool. So you don't have to actually go into a separate menu to loot. It shows up right there. Very interesting. Can we do anything with this security terminal? Let's find out. Security instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. So we know what goes on here. 
Um, we got some other stuff here. Residence at ad resident admittance upon activation notice from vault tech. All personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of vault residents. Security personnel will remain, will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. So essentially just guidelines for the, uh, staff of the vault. I don't see any staff members around though. So something has happened. I mean, you know, besides the whole nuclear detonation thing. There's a rad roach. Come here, buddy. And <laughs> we got the cha-ching. I love it. Giant roaches? What the hell? There's another baton. Why not? Let's take two. Take a coffee cup. So apparently everything you pick up I shouldn't say everything, because I don't know if that's been confirmed, but basically every item you pick up has some sort of utility in the crafting system, whether for settlement building, for weapon modifications. Uh, it's Todd Howard's exact words were, you know, you won't pick things up going, oh, this is worth 10 caps. You'll actually have a use for stuff. So if you were, if you had a hoarding issue in previous Fallout games, it's about to be exacerbated. Myself, I'm generally, I, I, I tend to figure out what I need to take and, and leave. I don't get to the point where I'm like, I gotta pick up everything. How do I activate vats? Okay, left, left bumper's vats. Ah, it still feels like a Fallout game with that cinematic kill cam. And some parts are smooth as butter, but... Like, when I look at these guys, I get a little bit of frame drops. Oh shit, I didn't see you come over here. So as you can see, enemies will continue moving even when you're in VATS. VATS doesn't stop time, it just slows time. I love that change. Oh, this guy's been dead for a while. What happened here? Where is everyone? Jeez. Another rad roach. Two of them. Can I get both of you guys? Okay, let's do a hit on you. Two hits. And then one on you. So they, they, you see how they kind of got me there before I was able to attack. Because they kept moving while I was in vats. Man, these guys are detailed. I love it. Water in here should be fine. No radiation. Okay, looks like we're at the main office now. I, sh I say office. Main uh, entrance, I guess. Stim packs, there we go. Oh, we got a gun. Cool, okay. So left trigger to aim. Vats is still activated by left bumper. The only thing I don't like about using a controller is that to sprint, I have to hold down the left thumbstick. I don't like control schemes like that, but I don't really know a better way to change it. If I use my keyboard, you guys are just gonna hear the clicking and clacking because it's a mechanical keyboard. Okay, did we get everything we need to in here? That's a Fallout game for you. It's like you gotta look around to make sure. See, we got a bobby pin, some pre-war money. All right, let's go. Terminal somewhere. Okay, maybe right there. So this is the Overseer's terminal. Uh, instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Well, you've got a whole mess of them down in the, uh, down in the storage area. Everybody in there is dead. What's the cryolator? I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankful thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. So that was written by the Overseer. 
Okay, we got the log. Let's check through some of this stuff. Final orientation is complete. All but a few of residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled and several from Concord as well. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Well, he seems kind of optimistic. Well, we all know what happens on October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nord Hagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. Was that us? I bet that was us. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Okay. And then they had a systems malfunction. Pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in the vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. It's a good YouTube channel, Errant Signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I just can't expect our supplies to last forever. I have to keep everything under control until the all clear. So things have gone very badly. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. So things got bad very quickly. So we can open the tunnel here. And that should be the way out. What is this? Oh, okay, so this is the cryolator he was talking about. Nice. Coming back later for you. Ooh, I gotta remember that one. Anything else in here? Can't unlock master locks yet, but... Anything else I'm missing? You can always come back, right? Did I look over here? Yeah. More rad roaches. Let's get the gun out. Boom. Come here, baby. How do I switch between... Oh, right stick, okay. Let's see if we can nail all of them in one. Hell yeah. Man, it just doesn't get any better than the feeling of connecting in vats. I've missed it. Guns are nice and responsive. They have a, they have a good kind of kickback to them that I'm not used to from a Fallout game. Anything over here? What was that? Oh, just sitting in the chair. Okay. Man, people are like full-on bleached skeletons. Oh, you can melee too. Okay, cool. I don't remember if you could do that in in Fallout 3 or New Vegas. I don't think so. Ew, it's on a dead guy. Oh, man. 
It's beautiful. God, I just love the look of it. All the little animated Vault Boy icons. Okay, change tabs with right and left trigger. So we can go through all of our stuff here. The only quest we got right now. There's the map. So we are way up in the left corner. This is the entire Boston area. I'm so excited, guys. And then no radio stations yet. Okay. We get to the perk chart with Y. I don't even remember what I chose for my special stats. So whatever I've dumped into each given attribute will allow me the same level of perks. So if I put like five into my charisma, then I can go all the way down five points. We'll get to that later when we actually have access to perks. Should be able to get out now. Uh, the music kicks in. Welcome home, right? Welcome back to... Welcome back to a Bethesda game. It's been four years since Skyrim. It's been seven years since Fallout 3. And we're back, guys. We're back in the wasteland. Did I just walk through that barrier? Oh, it opened, okay. I was like, I found the first bug. Ah, this is crazy. I gotta say, the textures aren't too bad. I'm just noticing a little bit of hitching on the graphics. That's the only thing I'm noticing that they could probably, they could probably fix it with a patch. Here we go. Okay, last chance. Let's do it. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. And thank you guys for watching this episode of Fallout 4 here on Gameplays U. We're going to take a little break here. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.